All right, that's our wine guard up on the roof. Um, I've just come down f from fixing it. Uh, of recent times, uh, when you're winding it down with the inside handle, the wine guard itself bounces. Um, and the more you wind as it's bouncing, the more it bounces and the things, friggin' handles jerking around and, and that's so much so that the princess won't touch it now because she's shit frightened that she's going to snap it off and uh, it's going to end up on the ground. Uh, so anyway, I've got up there and had a look at it, worked out what the problem is and, and basically eliminate it for next to nothing. It, it probably will come back, but anyway, I'll show you what I've done. <laughs> Before I get too excited, um, I've taken the handle um, off the off the wine guard section inside. Uh, the winders it's only held on with a with a um, small uh, hex nut hex screw in the end of that, and uh, both that and uh, and this outer section just fall off into your hand. Uh, you'll probably notice that I've got a bit of bit of coke can around the base of mine. Um, just to firm it up a little bit and give that handle when the handle goes on just give it a little bit more uh, It's a bit more snug on there. So it feels better in your hand anyway uh, So I've taken that off the reason why I've taken that off is is just so so when I get up the top I can move that thing around and it's not gonna because it's gonna lock into these It locks into these little dimples here on the bottom. So with that off it just leaves it free anyway so we'll go up on the roof and uh, work out uh, what's going on um, Taking that handle off downstairs just allows this thing to spin around at will. Uh, got a roof rafter up there that I've got to be a bit careful of, so it's not actually up vertical. Very important point uh, when you're making a YouTube video is turn your radio off in the background because if there's any music playing in the background, um, YouTube practice shits and accuse you of um, copyright violation. Anyway, so the radio is off, so we're all good to go. In the uh, there's a um, one single nut, uh, bolt through here, um, dome headed bolt uh, and a circlip on the other side. So a circlip just pull out with a little pair of pliers, just clips over the end of the bolt. So it comes out pretty easy. And what I've found is that it's the slot in this, where this bolt hole goes through this solid part here. And more importantly, uh, this aluminium rod that's, that the aerial's actually attached to. Um, this thing here is quite thick. I don't know, maybe four mil, this thing here. So it's not going to wear as fast as what this thing does because um, this thing's like paper thin. So going up, going down, rattling around, carrying on, um, it's going to wear out a lot faster than what this thing does here. This has worn out more. Um, so it's just a matter of sleeving it with something and tightening it back up again and making it a little bit snug. Inside this part here is a uh, like a worm gear, uh, vertical cog and this teeth go into the the worm gear spins around that way the teeth lock into it and then just turns it up and down so it's a pretty simple sort of a thing have a look inside when you take this off and i'll take it off in a sec when you pull this arm off here um, have a look inside just make sure that there's the, the the teeth on that worm gear and the teeth on here which i'll show you um, are actually all okay there's no teeth missing or they're not ground down too far or it's not obvious that there's something else wrong Another probably um, another point that will make everything a little bit easier is you just disconnect. This uh, this goes straight into the splitter up here for the antenna. Um, just disconnect it and get it out of the way. Um, so it makes everything a little bit easier to work with. All right, bit of a close up here. Um, that's your splitter there. Just undo it, unscrew it. Take oh, the end of it. There you go. Just unscrew the end of that. Unplug it. Leave it hanging down. Don't jerk around too much with that because it's waterproofed. Um, another good, probably good thing to do while you're up here is just check to make sure that there's no, no obvious gaps around underneath that seal. Um, because if that seal goes, not enough sealant in there, um, or it's missing, or it's fell off, or whatever, the water will get in there and leak into your roof. So it's a good opportunity to um, have a look. So anyway, what I'll do. So there's your. There's your dome headed nut there, and on the other side is your, where the other side comes out and there's just a circlip on which just pulls off. So you get it, get your spinning around a bit. 
attach a pair of pliers onto it and just pull him off. Don't lose it, for Christ's sake. Um, then all you have to do is just make sure you hold this thing uh, while you remove that bolt through here. And, um, and then the whole thing will just come out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, now that it's off, this thing will spin around freely. Uh, we'll put a bit of light into there and you'll see the you'll see the little worm gear inside there that just spins around. So just check it's, we'll go sideways a bit, there you go, get a better idea of what it looks like. So that just spins around. Um, just have a look at the teeth. So the teeth on that are pretty good. Um, it's, it's would have worn a little bit, um, but they're actually, you know, it's all fairly um, even. There's no chunks out of it. It's spinning quite freely. And then at the end of the, the antenna arm is the corresponding gear that meshes into that. And this, as this one spins, this one just climbs up, tilts the thing up. Like it's a pretty, sh pretty shitty system really. But um, this is a relic of what used to be the old uh, bladed wine guard where it had two, it actually had two of these bars and uh, one in the bottom, one in the top. Um, so that was a lot sturdier and when it tilted up um, it flattened out at the top because it had two bars and then what they've, oh, they've just done is they've taken the bottom bar off left this thing here exactly the same as it was and uh, and thrown the bottom bar to the shit house and now they're just sing relying on one single one single bar at the top um, what I've done you might pick up you don't have you won't have this thing on the bottom here um, because what I've done when this thing sits in there at that level, you'll notice that uh, it's a bit hard to tell, but you'll notice that the that this V section, this V section here, which is supposed to hold, um, stop it from spinning. So when it sits in here, it won't spin sideways. So it gives it a bit of support. All of that support is now missing because they've taken that bottom bar off. So the whole thing now sits up here above it, which is just mind-numbingly stupid. Um, so all I've done is uh, just got a piece, I think 25 mil um, channel and uh, beveled it off and just pop riveted it into the bottom of that. So that, that little piece there now sits into this receiver at the bottom here and stops this aerial from dancing around on the roof, takes all of the pressure off the internals. Um, because without that in there, this the thing, only thing that's stopping this aerial from spinning around on the roof are those little plastic teeth on the winder down down below. Anyway, so this is worn out a little bit here, and its corresponding section on here is also worn out. So all I've done is um, there you go. You probably see a bit better there. So all I've done is move the um, over here a bit. All right, so all I've done is uh, grabbed a piece of this plastic, which is, I don't know, something torch or something like that's come in it. Or uh, I often use pieces of um, milk carton. They make fantastic shims. Uh, and Coke cans or Pepsi cans with your drink of choice or beer cans or whatever make the best shims for anything. Um, but I don't have any cans here, so this is not going to work it's going to, it works, but it's not going to work forever because I've had to use plastic in this case, whereas I would prefer to use the, the aluminium, uh, which makes a better shim. But anyway, so what we're doing is we're getting the, the pin and, um, and basically just wrapping the plastic around, working out roughly where it's, so it fits in snugly, cutting it, wrapping that around, and shoving it in that hole. And that's pretty much it. And all it's doing is that, because it's flogged this hole out here, so it's a bit bigger than what it, what it should be. So all we're doing is just sleeving it with a piece of plastic. Um, and if need be, um, I would be prepared uh, to put a drill through here and, uh, and make it, if I could, couldn't get uh, milk carton well, wherever the hell I've put that. Uh, if I can't get put the milk, use the milk carton, which makes fantastic shims. Just a piece of a piece of that's really thin, uh, or the coke can. And it's not quite the hole's not quite big enough to use the the 
a milk carton as a shim, um, then I'd be quite happy to draw that out um, and make it a little bit bigger so it will take that. Uh, so what we probably need to do, and we'll probably do it down the track, I'm not going to do it now, is, is shim that as well, that little hole there, and bloody camera keeps turning off. Um, line it up in there so it's nice and snug. So it's sitting in there quite nicely. Prop it up so it's in the right spot, and then all you have to do is push the sleeve all the way through, from one side through to the other. You'd, if you're going to use, um, if you're going to drill this one out here, you'd have to drill that one out as well, so it's the same size. And then um, put it back together, run the, put the the bolt back through, and um, and it will snug it up. And uh, so this is heaps better than it was. It's not perfect because I also need to shim that one, which I haven't done, but I'll do that down the track. Um, but just shimming that one with the piece of this piece of shitty plastic I just took out of the bin, actually, um, that firms it all up. Whoops! And um, really smashed me home. And uh, and yeah, and it doesn't bounce anymore. Um, and now the princess will be quite happy. While it's off, give it a little bit of lubrication. Um, I've got a bit of uh, dry um, PTFE um, anti-friction lubricant, so it won't pick up. It's only a can from Bunnings. Um, I use it at the factory for machinery and stuff, so I've got heaps of it lying around. Uh, it won't attract dust. Uh, it won't hold dust, and it dries off. And uh, but it it stays uh, it lubricates and it stays. So stick a bit on this. Spray it a bit on the worm gear and give it a bit of a blast on the sides here and uh, and you'll be amazed at how much easier it, it will wind up and down. It'll stop the bouncing. Uh, if you do it with the coat can, maybe drill it out a little tiny bit if you need to. I wouldn't be taking too much off it, maybe a mil. And uh, and you'll find that it'll be it'll work like new. Anyway, I'll whack it back together and uh, and we're done I think. All right, we're finished. Everything's back together. Um, we're going to have a look at that and just reseal around this edge here. Um, there's nothing much there, so whatever I put there will be better than, than what's there now. So you'll see here, um, hopefully, that piece of aluminium that's been pop riveted to the bottom of the thing there. You can see where the other one would have come out along underneath it, um, and that's what, would, that's what sits in that locator whereas that locator is missing so there is nothing to stop that from rocking from side to side and coming all the way over to this point here and uh, and all the way over to the other side um, and given the amount of bounce that these things can generate um, popping over the top of that thing so it's putting all of the locating and holding storage pressure uh, on the plastic ring that's in the roof downstairs um, underneath but anyway so we've finished the job I put it all back together, put the, the handle back on underneath and uh, I've wound it up and down a couple of times um, as far as a bit of lubrication goes just whack a bit down there, whack a bit on there a bit down the side here, a bit down that side I've already done it but anyway, can't have too much lube and uh, so they say and yeah so, and, so I wound it up and down a couple of times and there's no bounce in that thing whatsoever whereas before it was freaking horrendous um, so that's done uh, another thing that um, I put a house door stopper thing um, underneath it to sit this thing here where it sits on the roof because where it sits on the roof where it, there's nothing under here uh, there's no rafter or anything under that section of the roof and there's a rafter here so that's actually sitting on a solid piece of the roof there whereas there before um, it would just bounce up and down, creates more bounce that I don't need um, so I'm more than happy for that to be uh, located and it'll be a little bit stronger and um, last a bit longer, the corrugations and stuff that we've done in the van uh, it's done really well and everything that we've done to it and the mods that we've done to it have held up pretty well and this is just one of them right back, back inside the van, uh, we've put the handle back on here and uh, located it, so these little pins up the top here uh, that's what's actually holding that thing um, stable on the roof, stopping it from swaying from side to side without that second bar on. So in my opinion, it needs that little block that we've put on. When you're putting this thing back on again, uh, for Christ's sake, don't do that thing up too tightly. This thing is plastic um, and that is screwed into a plastic thread. And if you screw it on too tight, 
uh, I'm telling you now, you will snap it in half uh, in, a, in a nanosecond. Um, so yeah, just be real careful with that. You only need a tiny bit of tension on that grub screw to hold that thing in. You're better off, uh, the grub screw is not going to come out. It's not going to vibrate out. If it's loose, you're better off getting to your caravan park or your travel destination and finding these two things on the floor um, and just put them back on rather than bust the bastards now and uh, and then have to go and buy new ones because they're, you know, this, this piece of plastic junk here um, is probably 30 bucks or whatever and I wouldn't be surprised if you have to buy it as a kit anyway. So be a little bit careful with that. But anyway, all works like a dream. There's no bouncing. So we wind her up. Winds up very, very smoothly. Probably should have done this job months ago. And winding it down. There is no bounce whatsoever in that. Seam up the top there. See beforehand it was bouncing. It bounced like bloody hell. But now it's, so there's no bounce in it whatsoever. So good as gold. Another good job done. Another one you can have a crack at. Uh-huh.